today i'm going to speak about something which many patients want to know what is the role of ivf in present day scenario hello friends i am dr preeti jindal i am senior consultant gynecologist i am ivf recurrent miscarriage and cosmetic gynae expert we are hearing everywhere that so many ivf centers are opening up patients are undergoing lots of ivf so does everybody needs ivf and what is ivf so ivf is in vitro fertilization that means that here fertilization or formation of the first form of the baby which is known as embryo takes place outside the body of the female so in natural conception what happens the egg is released inside the body and the sperms they reach into the tubes of the women and the fertilization takes place inside the tube of the woman and on fourth day the embryo moves into the uterus and starts growing over there where it stays for 9 months and then a baby is born in ivf what happens that the egg is removed from the women's body and it is fertilized with the sperm of the partner outside the body of the woman the embryo starts forming outside in the lab in the incubator and on third or fifth day of the fertilization that is the third or fifth day embryo is transferred inside the body of the woman so this is the process known as ivf now ivf is not required for everyone ivf is required when you are not able to achieve pregnancy naturally or other easier mode of conception easier way of getting of treatments they are exhausted and you are not able to achieve the pregnancy also in the women who have both the fallopian tubes damaged or removed for some reason or if the age is more and you are not forming too many eggs and you have been married for a long time and you are not able to achieve pregnancy if the sperm count is less or in some times everything is okay but pregnancy is not happening then one may go for the ivf one thing which everyone should know about ivf is that success rate of ivf is never of the center it is always of the couple if older couple comes who has already has very low sperm or egg count their success rate will be less and if a younger couple comes with everything normal just the tubes are not working properly there the success rate will be more the success rate of ivf can be improved with early help the more you will delay getting the ivf treatment done the less will be the chances of conception success rate is also improved by few techniques like artificial intelligence or pg ta and era era tells us about the endometrial receptivity so ivf is a quite complex procedure but then it if done properly it has got good success rate so if you would like to know anything more about ivf you can always contact me or watch my more videos thank you so much agar aapko lagta hai is video se kisi ka fayda ho sakta hai to share zarur kare aur yah video zyada se zyada logo tak pahunchaye aur like share subscribe karna na bhule